Early this Friday morning, we continue our journey to the cross. Here we find Jesus facing charges before the Sanhedrin, the Jewish officials. They are trying desperately to find people to bring false testimony against Jesus to put him to death. Mark 14, 55 through 56 says, they could not find any, for many were giving false testimony against him and the testimonies did not agree. It just got more and more ridiculous. And all through these trials, not once did Jesus feel the need to defend himself. He knew what was coming. He knew what he had to do, whatever it takes to bring about our rescue. At daybreak, the Jewish officials hand Jesus over to the Roman governor, Pilate. And in Mark 15, we read, at the festival, Pilate used to release for the people a prisoner whom they requested. There was one named Barabbas, who was in prison with rebels who had committed murder during the rebellion. The crowd came up and began to ask Pilate to do for them as was his custom. Pilate answered them, do you want me to release the king of the Jews for you? For he knew it was because of envy that the chief priest had handed him over. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd so that he would release Barabbas to them instead. Pilate asked them again, then what do you want me to do with the one you call the king of the Jews? Again, they shouted, crucify him. Pilate said to them, why, what has he done wrong? But they shouted all the more, crucify him. Wanting to satisfy the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them. And after having Jesus flogged, he handed him over to be crucified. We are all Barabbas, set free, declared innocent, Jesus took the punishment that we deserved. Jesus had to be treated like Barabbas so that we could be treated like Jesus. Ephesians 1.5 tells us that God decided long ago to adopt us as his own children because of what Jesus has done. We have been made right with God because of the blood Jesus was about to shed.